Welcome to the transformative tale of Aino Mina, a sprawling urban development nestled in the northern expanse of Kandahar City. This town serves as an emblematic testament to the ongoing reconstruction and progress underway in Afghanistan. Today, we delve into the tangible impacts of Aino Mina, where job creation, the prevention of capital flight, and substantial improvements in the lives of its residents are evident outcomes. In the wake of decades of war that left Kandahar and the nation at large in ruins, recent years have witnessed a surge of investment with billions of dollars earmarked for construction initiatives. Aino Mina Town stands out as a shining example of this rejuvenation, contributing not only to physical infrastructure, but also to the socio-economic fabric of the region. Aino Mina's influence extends beyond its immediate borders, fostering the creation of new neighborhoods around Kandahar City. Modern architectural marvels now grace the skyline, providing residents with access to fundamental necessities like clean drinking water and electricity. The government's commitment to extending these essential services to all households marks a significant stride towards enhancing the quality of life for every citizen. Powering the city's growth is the Kayaki Hydroelectric Plant in neighboring Helmand Province, a pivotal source of electricity. Ongoing upgrades and expansions situated approximately 32 kilometers north of the city, underscore the interconnectedness of regional development initiatives. A mere 32 kilometers to the north lies Delarum, Afghanistan's second largest port. This strategic location serves as a critical gateway, facilitating trade and connectivity for the region. The project aims to accommodate up to 2 million people and was unveiled with plans to construct 20,000 single-family homes, along with essential infrastructure such as roads, water and sewage systems and social amenities, including schools. Recently, it garnered recognition, winning two awards, Residential Project and Sustainable Project of the Year at the Middle East Architect Award. This area has become a preferred residence for many high-ranking civil servants, as well as affluent businessmen contributing to the creation of a secure community within Kandahar. In 2011, the initiation of the next $100 million project marked a continued commitment to urban development. Simultaneously, the construction of Hamidi settlement in the Morchi Kotal area commenced in August 2011. Named in honor of Ghulam Haider Hamidi, the late mayor of Kandahar, who was tragically assassinated by militants in July 2011 along the Kandahar Urizgan Highway in the northeast of the city, this town stands as a poignant tribute to his legacy. The new city is planned to feature 2,000 residential and commercial plots, along with the development of new roads, schools, commercial markets, clinics, canals, and various other facilities. Aino Mina, spanning 20,000 acres, has become a thriving community for thousands of families hailing from every corner of Afghanistan. Over the years, the construction of this city has generated employment opportunities for over 250,000 people, and currently, 800 individuals are actively engaged, earning monthly incomes ranging from 15,000 to 150,000 Afghani. This spectacular city, boasting billions of dollars in investments, attracts thousands of tourists annually from across Afghanistan and neighboring regions. It encompasses numerous amenities, including hospitals, sports clubs, educational centers, modern mosques, and hundreds of architecturally modern buildings. Notably in the past, the city housed the residences of Mullah Omar, the leader of the Taliban, and Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. At the heart of the development lies a central park, adorned with water features and a spacious pedestrian path. This route serves as a crucial artery, connecting the primary operational and residential zones within the development. A network of four smaller pathways extends from the central park to local neighborhoods and amenities within the Aino Mina development, facilitating pedestrian movement throughout the site. 
The park serves as a unifying focal point, fostering a sense of community among residents. The project was guided by several primary sustainable development goals, prioritizing the creation of a resilient and sustainable environment to enhance the well-being and health of its inhabitants. A key client concern centered on minimizing waste and optimizing resource usage. Ainomina City stands as an iconic development, setting a precedent for future projects in Afghanistan, instilling confidence in investment. As the city evolves, it becomes a benchmark for a self-sufficient lifestyle in the rural landscape of Kandahar. Notably, residences in this settlement exemplify a forward-thinking approach, such as a six-bedroom, six-bathroom house on a 300-square-meter plot. Each room features an independent bathroom for private use, accompanied by a separate building for guests, complete with a room and bathroom, constituting a standalone house with an approximate cost of $60,000. Positioned in the northern vicinity of Kandahar City, the town of Ainomina stands as a remarkable testament to development and progress in Afghanistan. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, this settlement has had a profound impact, generating employment, curbing capital flight, and enhancing the overall quality of life for its residents. In the aftermath of years of war and destruction, Ainomina, along with modern structures like Dalaram Port and the Ainomina Residential Project, has emerged as a beacon of positive change. These developments not only provide contemporary services, including clean water and electricity, but also serve as commendable examples of urban development. The positive transformations observed in people's daily lives, coupled with increased tourist interest, underscore the success and significance of these initiatives. As the sun sets over Ainomina, it symbolizes not just the end of a day, but a beacon of hope for Kandahar's resurgence. Ainomina stands tall, a manifestation of progress, resilience, and the promise of a brighter future for Afghanistan. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Ainomina. Stay tuned for more insights into transformative developments around the world. Until next time, goodbye.